And some of you guys might be like, who is this baby? Did Kelly get a new doll? So let's talk about that. Okay, so just right off the bat, no, I did not get a new baby. But some of you guys might be looking at this doll and thinking like, oh, who is this? Like, I don't recognize this baby. And so this is actually um, my Juliana by Ping Lao, uh, painted by April Yap. Um, the prototype actually, and she was formerly known on my channel as Harlow, and I had her as a girl, but recently I um, decided that I, actually a couple months ago, I tried her in some boy clothes, and I thought that she looked really cute as a boy, and even when I got her at the booth, literally walking away after I had bought her and I was carrying her, I was like, this baby would make such a cute boy, and everyone was like, what, no, she's such a good girl, like you can't change her. And so I didn't, and, but from like the beginning, like from day one, I, I thought this baby would make a good boy, and I finally just switched her up, and so she is a boy now. I got her two years ago at the Rose Doll Show, so this baby had been in my collection as a girl for a long time, but um, recently I hadn't really felt such a good connection with her, and so I was like, I need to make her a boy and see if that changes things, and it totally does. I think this baby makes a perfect boy, and I really like how Harlow looks as a boy, so I wanted to reintroduce her on my channel as a boy because that's how I'm going to be using this baby from now on. So the name that I picked for this baby as a boy is Cooper. I've used that name on a couple dolls in the past, but it, they didn't stick around very long, which is why I'm going to use it. Usually I don't like to reuse names, but those dolls like didn't last very long in my collection. I think they were all dolls that I made myself, and I never really keep my own work, so... Um, we're gonna call this baby Cooper, and I think he looks so cute, and I think the name suits him really well. And like I said, I just think this baby makes a perfect little boy. So, I just wanted to do a video of reintroducing this baby, so we're going to change him. I actually really like this outfit, so I don't want to change him. I actually just changed him earlier into this, but we're gonna change him again for the video. So, yeah, and also, look at my nails. I got them done for Valentine's Day. Oh, it's not focusing. Literally the camera was focusing on anything but my nails, um, but I got them done for Valentine's Day and I think they turned out really cute, so I just wanted to show you guys since a lot of people like my nails and comment on them. And yes, they are my real nails. I know a lot of people don't believe me, but it is true. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to show you real quick. <laughs> okay, so like I said, we're going to change Cooper into a new little outfit. So. The outfit I have picked out for him is this really cute outfit from Janie and Jack, and this will look really cute with his eyes, I think it'll complement them really well. So this shirt, it's so cute, it's like this cream color, and it has a collar with little blue stripes, and it has a tiny pocket, and then the overalls are plaid, and they have all these dark brown buttons, and it's just like um, different shades of blues, greens, grays, and like that cream, so it looks really cute. And then I don't really know what shoes I want to put on him. I have these little white Converse, but the shirt, it's not really white, so it's kind of like, it's its cream, so they're not the same. But I feel like if it's down at the feet, you won't really notice. Or I have these little brown shoes, because the inside is cream, and then this brown kind of matches the buttons. I don't know. We're going to try them both on. And then I also have a little stuffed animal for him to hold on to that kind of matches the outfit, too. A little bear. I don't even know where this came from. It came with one of my babies. So we have that. So we're going to change him into this. And the outfit I currently have him in is super cute. It's from Baby Gap. And so the shirt is just a gray onesie and it says, I love my mom, inside three little stars, green, blue, and navy, and then navy pants. And look, there's even a little bear on the corner for Baby Gap. That's like their logo. And then he has gray socks and this he's holding this little bear. So we're just going to change him up for this video. Here we go. I'm gonna take his socks off actually. He honestly might wear these socks with that outfit because they kind of match with the outfit we're about to put him in. Oh my gosh, this baby is so chunky. Like, look at those thighs. They are so chunky. Look at all the rolls. Oh my gosh. Such a chunky baby. <laughs> look at how pretty this skin tone is. He's like really pale, but it's so pretty and it's not like unrealistic. He has like such purpley and like pinkish undertones. I just love it. And I love his nails. They're so, like, they're so realistic and beautiful. Here we go. Oh, look at that diaper. 
I just put him in this diaper today, actually. I don't even know where this came from. This came with one of my dolls as well from a different country because I've never like seen this brand anywhere around here. Della Plus, I think is how you say it. And it just has like um, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, but they're like baby versions of them. So cute. And I put him in a size three. It's a little big, as you can see, like it goes up really high on him. But since he's so like, he's so chunky, his body's like really wide and his butt is so big that this fits him better. <laughs> he's literally so thick, like for real. <laughs> <coughs> That's so funny. Anyway, um, we're gonna put him in this outfit. So it has a little button right here. We're actually just gonna slide this on over his thick body. I hope it fits. The only other baby I, that has worn this outfit is Micah. I don't know if I actually took pictures of him wearing I don't know if this is gonna fit like that. He's literally so chunky. I don't think it's gonna fit like that. I was able to put it on Micah like that because Micah's like long and skinny. <laughs> He's so fat. It's cute though, it's like baby chub. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to fix his hair, it's getting so messed up. Um, yeah, Micah was the only other baby who has worn this outfit and it looks so cute on Micah. But, um, I don't think I took pictures of him wearing it. I don't know why, he looks so cute in it. Here we go. But I thought this would look really cute on Cooper because his eyes are so pretty. Here, let's make him look at the camera. His hair is all messed up now. I will definitely fix that. <laughs> Look at him with his like uh, buttons undone. It's looking like a, I don't even know, <laughs> a cool dude. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my gosh! Look at the spit bubbles inside his mouth. I don't know if you guys can see that from back there. I'll have to um, get closer. But the spit bubbles in his mouth look so realistic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know, I think I did a details video on this baby, like when I got home from Rose, I think I did like a blanket reveal. Um, so, there's definitely more details on him there, but it's so crazy, cause like all the videos I have with him are gonna be of him as like Harlow, and now I have him as Cooper, but I just think this suits him really well. I did like him as a girl as well, but I just bond with him a lot better as a boy. As you guys know, pretty much, uh, it, more than half of my collection is boys because I just bond better with boy babies and a lot of times I end up switching my dolls that were girls into boys. And I also, I just wanted to mention this, um, in no way am I saying this, oh my god, he's so thick I literally have to <laughs> undo the sides. He's so fat. Um, I might have to do the other side too. Oh yeah. So I just wanted to mention that I'm in no way saying this baby is transgender. Like, I know that was a big issue that was talked about when I switched um, Willie into a boy, because originally Willie came to me as a girl as well, and I switched him into a girl, or as into a boy, and um, I know there were quite a few comments on that video saying, like, like, stuff about, like, transgender and, like, things like that, and so... I'm in no way saying that this baby is transgender. Obviously, you shouldn't force your young child, especially a baby, to become transgender or anything like that. Um, but, and um, not saying I also don't support transgender people, because I do. I have many transgender friends, and um, I support the whole LGBTQ plus community. So, uh, I just wanted to say, though, that, like, I'm not trying to say this baby is transgender. I just swapped the baby for my own personal preference because obviously they're dolls, they're not real people and um, because they're dolls and they have cloth bodies they are not set to one gender unless it's a doll that has like um, full anatomically correct body parts like it's not set to be one specific gender um, but yeah so like I said I'm, I'm not trying to say this baby is transgender I'm just switching it for my own personal preference and I have, but I have nothing against transgender people, like I mentioned, I know many transgender people and fully support the community, um, I just wanted to say that. Okay, I think these shoes look really cute. Oh wait, should we see what these ones look like on him? Oh, I like the sneakers. Yeah, no. Like, it is still cold out, but this just looks wrong with his outfit. I like the sneakers so much more. I love the baby Converse, they're so cute. I think I have like four pairs of baby Converse. Oh no, three. I have <laughs> these little white ones for 
They're in like baby size one, I think. Let me see. And I have a black pair as well. The black pair has um, laces. But these ones are just like Velcro. And then I have a pair that fit my toddlers that are black high tops. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at how cute that is. Yeah, so clearly they're not the same color, but like you can't really tell from all the way down here. Oh, he looks so cute. Let me get a little brush to fix his hair. Okay, this is just a little toothbrush I use to do their hair. It has never been used on teeth. It's only been used for doll hair. And I just use it to brush their hair. Sometimes I'll wet his hair, but a lot of times it like makes it really wavy. And like, I like wavy hair, but it makes his hair like super like wavy and I don't really like how it looks. So yeah, he has really nice rooted hair. And I love this little style, like it's so cute, his little swoop. Oh, look at that chump, like chunky little face. He's so cute. His cheeks look so squishy, but they're really not. His face is not squishy at all. Oh my goodness, look at that little boy. Oh, I hope you guys like him as a boy as much as I do. I know sometimes there's like controversy or like backlash when people will switch their dolls' genders, especially when they've had them in their collection for so long because obviously like the their fans will get to know them or and love them as... How they were so like obviously I know a lot of people loved Harlow like my Nana it's her favorite baby of mine but I don't know personally it is my collection it's my doll I should do what makes me happy and what makes me happy is having him as a boy and so I just wanted to say that so yeah here is little Cooper I think he looks really cute let's give him his little stuffed animal oh my gosh that is so sweet oh I'm definitely gonna post pictures of him on Instagram uh, wearing this outfit and like reintroducing him so make sure you follow me on um, at Kelly Maple YT on Instagram and also at uh, Little Mouse Nursery so you can see my reborn creations yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, please click like and subscribe and I'm pretty sure you can't comment so make sure you comment on my Instagram and we'll see you guys later bye <laughs>